Hi guys, and welcome to Art Starters. So I want to show you guys today we're going to work on the second element of art, uh, and this is shape. And just a very fast, crazy thing going on here. Very fast um, definition of shape is an element of art that's two-dimensional, is flat or limited to height or width. Um, easy way to think of this is form. And also, um, the way that I always say to my students is it's a closed path or line. Okay, so the shape of this is the, the path that the line has made to create the form inside, which is called the shape. So what we're gonna be working on today is a very simple art starter that looks really super cool when you're finished. Um, and we are going to be, let me zoom out here. We're gonna be working on this. Um, and this is just a way to show shape through overlapping or intersecting of shapes. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna, since it's kind of getting close to Easter, we're gonna do kind of like a household Easter egg hunt. We're gonna find found objects things that we can use to make shapes with. I've got a salt shaker here which works really well. I've got an Altoid box. I've got a tape measure. <laughs> Just all kinds of cool stuff. I've got a few uh, wrenches or I guess that's what they're called. I've got a bobbin um, with some leftover yarn. Um, you could even use a mouse trap. You know, of course, this is an unused one. Woohoo! But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to go and find all of your shapes. Um, you would be looking for circles, squares, uh, triangular shapes, octagonal things. You could look for ovals. And then you're going to begin by you're going to need a pencil, a few sharpies, a thin line, and a thick line. Um, and of course, your shapes. Uh, you may need an eraser. And uh, we're going to start with a pencil here. So I am using a, let me see, I think it's a four by, four by six piece of paper. So I'm going to kind of move this guy out of the way as we work. And uh, by the way, happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing very well today. You can make your shapes with a ruler yourself if you'd like to, but I'm going to show you how to do it a little easier way. So I'm going to start by just laying some shapes down and then kind of tracing with my pencil over them. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly so that I can uh, keep your attention. You want to vary your, your shapes and it'd be really super cool if you overlap them. Maybe I will do a circle going off the edge there. I'm going to take this and make a circle here. And you are going to just work by filling this in. I'm going to take my... Uh, I don't know. I like the shape that this salt shaker makes. It's an oval shape. So I'm going to trace it here and probably here as well. Uh, the more you overlap, the cooler your finished design will be. And uh, maybe this uh, cap here. Alright. And something that you might also find interesting is these odd shapes that you find by working into your household objects. In this case, I've got a kind of a kidney shape that I made from the inside of scissors. I'm going to do maybe a, another one right here again. And once you're done with your overall shape and form, and I want to show you this because I thought this was really, really kind of cool. Um, I'm tracing my little wrench or whatever this is. I guess it's a wrench shape. And I've got maybe a small side to it too. So I'm just going to trace these in. Okay. Once you have your shapes kind of laid out, then you're going to begin by, ooh, I don't know if you guys can even see this, huh? Let's see if I can make this a little darker. Hmm. There we go. Ooh. Zoom in a little. There we go. So you guys can see. All right, and uh, we're gonna, um, here we go. All right, so we're going to begin by outlining all of your shapes with your Sharpie. And if you put your hand down on your table, 
it will help you a little bit more. And the cool interlapping of shapes, overlapping, um, is what's going to make this really interesting. And again, I'm working kind of quickly here. Um, hopefully you guys will have a little bit more time to work. The overlapping of forms makes for very creative imaging. And I'm just kind of cleaning this up as I go because ultimately I worked really fast because I wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Alright. And notice that I am going inside of all of these objects. They are intercepting of shapes, correct? Alright, now the next thing I'm going to do is if I need to, I can take my eraser erase all of my pencil lines so that this is going to be nice, neat, and clean when it's finished. All right, and then I'm going to move on to my thin line Sharpie. With my thin line Sharpie, I'm going to begin with every little section. I'm going to just start um, designing, all right? And if you look at this one, I'm going to put it beside the other one for a moment. Notice how I've got different patterns and shapes and designs in there. So that's what I'm just going to start working on. This one I'm going to do, just a little coiling thing. And these don't have to be really intricate, but let me just say this. It works so much better if you just kind of let your brain take over and not really think too much about it. And then you're going to begin working. And check this out. Your shapes that you are making, try to make them all different if you can around the surface of this because wherever it interlaps or it overlaps or it goes into the other shape you want to try to make sure that you are changing your pattern of design this is super cool to just kind of change it and let it be let it happen um, and these thin line markers work really great. Again, I know some of you guys are at home. You might not have your supplies with you. Um, and we are limited with art supplies. Just try to draw with a pencil or whatever you have. Crayons work great for this for coloring this type of a project. Um, I'm going to be using markers because markers are a quick way to get a nice finished look. All right. So I'm just going to be working on this one small section here. So I'm going to just continue for a moment around this edge and get a few more designs in here and then I am going to begin to color in. And this is a very simple way to work with your shape and make a really cool image based on this. And remember, shape is the second element of design. Uh, shape is basically a line that is a closed in form. And shapes vary. Some are organic. Some are, uh, and organic is like a flowy shape. And some of them are geometric, which means they have hard edges, like a 90 degree circle, and excuse me, a 90 degree square. And the circle would be more organic. So I am going to continue with these patterns and you just do whatever comes to mind. This is kind of zentangly and you guys know that I, I really dig the zentangly thing. So I'm going to continue to work. All right. All right. And I would have filled in that whole thing, but I feel like I'm maybe taking up too much of your afternoon or morning. So, I'm going to stop there, and I'm just going to begin by coloring in. Now, if you notice on my particular image that I worked on, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, my particular image that I worked on, I used a basic, um, some pinks, some purplies, and a lot of warm colors on this, guys. Um, with some reds, oranges, pinks, and yellow. So, I had a kind of color palette that I was going for and so I'm going to start by coloring in with your sharpie marker and you're going to pick a color that is not similar to it to work next to it 
is what I always feel is a good idea because you want to balance it out. And say, for example, um, this will come a little bit later with composition or balance, but if I have a yellow area here, I might want to put a yellow area here. I want to balance it over the surface of my paper. So look, for example, this is balanced out by this, which is balanced out by this. So, you know, it moves your eye around the surface. So that's what I'm going for here is a mixture of color. I have a really bright, uh, dark Sharpie that I'm going to be using to fill in this particular oval shape here. And I'm just working it in. All right. So I think you guys get the whole idea of today's um, exercise with shape is you are creating interlocking or overlapping areas of shape. They can be geometric, which means straight edge, or they can be organic, which means they are rounded in some way or shape with soft edges. And you're going to create them to create an activity that is fairly abstract. All right, so I hope that you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is Mrs. Rinkin, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.